a production by the Israel Holy Land Travel by Rafael Ben Chur. From the holy city of uh, Jerusalem, we are looking uh, forward to seeing you here in the Holy Land as uh, pilgrims in the Holy Land where our Lord uh, was born. Uh, he preached, he made uh, miracles, and he was uh, crucified and uh, resurrected. Uh, this would be a great uh, blessing, not only for you, but also for your uh, families and your uh, countrymen. And Jesus will come and be baptized by John the Baptist. This is the same place where the children of Israel crossed the river with Joshua bin Nun. Elijah ascended to heaven in a chariot of fire, and when Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit descended upon him like a dove. The Holy Land, also called the Promised Land, touches Jews, Christians, Muslims, and all other religions of the world. Between the cliffs on the west and on the east, heading north lies the African Rift Valley. In the middle can be found the lowest point on earth, the deepest sea in the world, and the saltiest sea in the world, the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea contains important mineral deposits and their medicinal qualities bring tourists from all over the world by coach to stay in hotels of all levels. The experience in the water of the Dead Sea is unparalleled since it is impossible to sink. The initial surprise of floating effortlessly is replaced by a sense of calm. The mud from the bottom of the Dead Sea is rich in healthy minerals from nature and the Dead Sea cosmetic products based on it are sold internationally. Desert landscapes are typical of this region in the Middle East. But the desert area has an unusual history, such as the famous Masada Fortress and Palace that was built by Herod the Great on the cliff above the Dead Sea 2,000 years ago. For 2,000 years, caves in this area sheltered the now famous Dead Sea Scrolls. Shepherds discovered the world's oldest Bibles, which had been inscribed on animal scrolls by Jewish people during the time of Jesus and hidden from the Romans in the desert, where they remained for all those centuries. Nearby is the canyon where Elijah hid. Later, desert monks chose to dwell on the cliffs and built their St. George Hizbe Monastery. Jerusalem lies at the edge of the desert. From the top of the Mount of Olives, you can view the Golden Dome like a pearl in the sea. This is a holy place for Muslims. 2,000 years earlier, the Jewish temple stood in its place. Upon entering the Church of the Nativity, it is possible to light a candle in the very place where Jesus was born. It is a privilege to kneel at the very place where the manger was that held the Messiah on his birthday on Christmas Day. Like the Magi who came from the east following a star, there can be seen a silver star with ten horns as a Christmas decoration inscribed with the words, Here the Messiah was born. Called by some Christians, the gate of Our Lady Mary, because at the base of it is the blessed tomb of Mary. The ancient church located below ground level is adorned with candles, flowers, and icons to mark the place where Mary, the mother of God, was buried and later carried to heaven. All communities can pray here. Behind the tomb is a famous icon called Mary of Jerusalem, where light coming from it has a pleasant aroma and miracles can happen. This church was established at the place where Jesus spent time in prayer on his last night before crucifixion. Alabaster windows and purple and gold mosaics inside the church tell of his agony in the garden. There are very ancient olive trees in the garden where he actually prayed and his disciples slept. Pilgrims are walking in to receive a blessing from the Patriarch of Jerusalem, Theophilus III, the oldest and most venerable Patriarch in the Holy Land. Via de la Rosa, the name means the way of the cross in Latin, where all pilgrims follow the path where Jesus carried the cross as he was on his way to the crucifixion. The tomb where it is believed that Jesus was buried following his crucifixion. Pilgrims traditionally kiss the stone where they believe his body rested before his resurrection.
A Muslim symbol in Jerusalem for hundreds of years on the spot where the Jewish temple once stood. The Western Wall is a large public area for prayer, celebrations, and rituals. The Western Wall is the last remnant of the ancient temple, but in the faith of the Jewish people, it is also the place for future salvation. Jesus correctly prophesied 2,000 years ago that not one stone of the great temple would remain upon the other. Today, the Western Wall is a place of great hope. Quick jump to Tel Aviv, Israel's largest city on the Mediterranean, highlighting the city's vibrant business and entertainment sectors. Jaffa. The ancient port city of the prophet Jonah and the apostle Peter with charming alleyways and the Russian church. Haifa is another beautiful city on the Mediterranean. Here, the spectacular Baha'i Gardens can be found, a place of pilgrimage for Baha'is from around the world. Under its golden dome can be found a tomb of one of the founders of the Baha'i religion. Nazareth. The Church of the Annunciation commemorates the place where the Archangel Gabriel appeared before Mary with his amazing pronouncement. Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you, blessed among women. The natural spring would have been a place where Mary, Joseph, and Jesus would have drawn water for as long as the family lived in Nazareth. At a point where the Jordan River leaves the Sea of Galilee, a baptismal site has been created that is both safe and comfortable for immersion. Wearing white clothes, pilgrims enter the dapple water to receive the joy of forgiveness of their sins. After baptism, participants will receive a baptismal certificate from this beautiful place on the Jordan River. This is the same sea on which Jesus sailed with his disciples. The boats that we are sailing in are replicas of the wooden boats that were in use in the time of Jesus. On the shores of the sea, Jesus performed the miracle of the multiplication of the loaves and the fishes to feed more than 5,000 hungry followers. A number of beautiful and charming Orthodox churches are dotted along the shore. The Church of the Twelve Apostles has striking pink domes and is decorated inside. The city of Jewish mysticism known as the Kabbalah. Jewish people have lived here for centuries, having a special devotion for the city, and even today one can feel the unique atmosphere. From here you can see a vast panorama. Also visible are bunkers and trenches, reminders of war's past. Vineyards are grown in the rich, fertile soil, and world-class wineries can be found here. Come to the land of the Bible, the land of promise and redemption, the land which within its folds holds the greatest story ever told.